Alright guys and girls, welcome back to a new review about Fairy Tale. and before I begin this normal review, something different, it is a little bit of a sort of sponsorship, not really of course, but it is a little drawing I made, I made a bet with a roommate, uh, not roommate, classmate, uh, about it, that I put it in the video, said his name, and I will do it, so... It's for a Happy Meal, it's a fun thing. W with that said, uh, Tim, thank you for sponsoring my video. I will put it up here, just for the heck of it. Getting it down. I think it will fit, sort of. And you can see it. It's a bit dark, but you can see it. It's alright. So, to get on with the review. First thing first, I want to say. This chapter with Irene or Eileen, however you want to call her, and the mother of Ezra. It is a bit like, I don't know, it's just much when you think about it. It's very much because uh, the thing that she created, actually, the Dragon Slayers, was something totally new to me. It was like, what the heck, really? I, I was shocked at that. But now with the Dragon Seed in the... Dragon Slayers, it is insane. So, to just cap it real quick, Irene, uh, Eileen, is the mother of Ezra, and she, with the dragons, uh, the dragons were divided, sort of, you could say, in two camps, and one camp was fighting against humans, and the other one was uh, fighting with humans, or uh, coexisting, you can say that. With that said, uh, so they wanted to fight against the dragons that were fighting with the humans. So the humans were fighting with the dragons against other dragons. A bit complicated, but... So the mother of Ezra was like, well, can I not get that power so I can fight like a dragon with dra against dragons? And so she became the first dragon slayer. But something inside her... That dragon seed, I don't know what it is, but... When we saw with Natsu, I think we saw it a couple of times, where his skin was shedding a bit, like you saw the skills of a real dragon. And it now is something that as probably many people already thought or was thinking about it, that he was slowly turning in a dragon. That made sense. But we didn't know that it was ir irreversible, so he couldn't change like... Agnolia can change back from human to dragons and so and so, but I don't know because it's very strange because he is the same. So you would think that other people could also do that, but probably not. And also some humans even couldn't stand the power of the dragon and just would go insane like that. So there are some things like... Where I'm like, okay, so what's going to happen with Natsu? Is it the seed inside him that is fumbling like where it went wrong? Or is he sick? Is it some other disease? I don't know. But I kind of like it. I don't know what mother, the mother of Irene. I call her Eileen because I like that more. Eileen, where she's like, I don't know. She was not evil. But now she's fighting with Seraph for what, no, what reason against humans and all the dragon slayers she sort of made she's sort of the mother of dragon slayers i would not really quote her like that but she sort of invented that and to be honest i i don't know with that i don't know if she is fully evil or if she has some special reasons probably she has some reasons but if they are for me good or for you good i don't know if if she really is that evil guy, like, like Seraph, he is for sure. He just doesn't give a shit about anything and probably hates everything right now because he doesn't want to die anymore and all the trouble and stuff. So he for sure is evil. But I don't know, with August, for example, he was reasonable enough to talk. But at some point, he was when he got attacked, he was like, oh shit, let's rain hell down on them. And he got mad and... Fucked everything up. Yeah. That, that was shit. But. I don't know. We have to wait and see for that. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Thank you Tim for watching also. I know you're watching it. I, I just know it. So thank you. Thank you for the happy meal also. I hope I will enjoy it tomorrow.
Thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends, and also subscribe if you want to see more of me. And I hope we'll see you next time. Goodbye.